Lakos downhole sand separators protect turbine and submersible pumps from sand damage by removing sand from the water before it reaches the pump. Separators use centrifugal action to remove sand from water and are installed in the well below the pump. Separators can be installed when the pump is initially put in or any time the pump is removed from the well. The correct separator is chosen based on the maximum flow rate of the pump and the diameter of the well. The first step is installing the purge mechanism on the separator. In most installations, a flapper valve is used. This allows collected sand to fall into the well when the sand in the purge collection chamber becomes too heavy or when the pump stops drawing water. When a pump will be run for long periods of time without stopping, a tailpipe correctly sized for the separator can be used to allow the sand to fall below the pump without being drawn back into the separator while the pump is running. If a tailpipe is used, it is lowered into the well first. The separator is then attached to the tailpipe using a grooved coupling. Then the separator is lowered into the well. Next, the pump bowls are correctly positioned and threaded onto the outlet of the sand separator. Once the pump bowls are securely attached, the pump and separator are lowered into the well. Now it's time to start installing the column pipe. The first column pipe is placed into position above the pump. The line shaft is then connected to the bowl shaft, and then the column pipe is threaded to the pump discharge case and lowered into the well. The remaining shafts and pipe are then fitted together and installed.